in this module we are going to look at what are dexes that is decentralized exchanges decentralized exchanges have been one of the pivotal changes in the whole defi ecosystem that brings about the way you handle your cryptocurrencies so without further ado let's try and understand what are decentralized exchanges when we are buying and selling digital assets in the real world example when you are buying and selling assets we use traditional finance approaches for example share market or stock market there is an order book approach where we place the order and then there are brokers that are trying to you know fulfill that order over a period of time however in a decentralized exchange there is a different approach to buying and selling assets these operate without an intermediary organization for clearing the transactions for example in a stock market scenario the order book is heavily influenced by centralized agents or brokers who are making the deals happen however the primary ethos of defi or decentralized finance is to be able to trust the code and not any centralized organizations therefore decentralized exchanges are exchanges where you can buy and sell digital assets without the need for an intermediary or intermediary organization for clearing the transactions instead they use smart contracts to facilitate trading let's take a look about <clears throat> what are the different characteristics of dexes the next generation of dexes does not use order books to facilitate trades or set prices right dexes are short for decentralized exchanges you will come across this word a lot so that's what this means what happens in a dex is that there is a liquidity pool that is created to determine the asset pricing now there is a model behind this liquidity pool creation called amm or automated market making about which you can also read in the lesson because dexes do not use intermediaries they are peer to peer in nature and they execute trades between users wallets instantly right for example when you want to convert a usdc to say eth right you can use a decentralized exchange and swap almost instantly now the dexes in this category are ranked in total value locked or tvl again a terminology that you will popularly hear a lot in defi which refers to the value of assets held in the protocol's smart contracts so let's take a look at one of the most popular dexes that is uniswap and see how it works so uniswap labs or the uniswap protocol is one of the most popular defi protocols that created the concept or that rather brought in the concept of amm and decentralized exchanges in order to facilitate swapping cryptocurrencies in a seamless manner so what is uniswap the uniswap protocol is a peer to peer system designed for exchanging cryptocurrencies on the ethereum blockchain the protocol is implemented as a set of persistent non upgradable smart contracts designed to prioritize censorship resistant security self custody and to function without any trusted intermediaries as we have already seen there are currently three versions of the uniswap protocol v1 and v2 are open source and v3 is open source with slight modification we will look at the architecture of two a little bit in the next lesson in the next video and for v3 as well i have added a video that will give you more cl clarity on how it works as you might already also notice in the lesson that in a decentralized exchange the there is the order book versus amm theory right that is order book book is generally used in centralized exchanges whereas in dexes you we use something called an automated market maker also sometimes referred to as a constant function market maker in place of an order book 
let's take a quick look at the documentation itself and i've added a link to this in the in the lesson that you can go through but at a very high level the amm basically replaces the buy and sell orders in a order order book with a liquidity pool of two assets both valued relative to each other so let's also see if we can explore the uniswap app a little bit which shows how the liquidity pool and things are set up let's go to app.uniswap.org make sure to not connect your wallet or anything this is just for you to understand how it works okay so let's try to go to pool awesome so here right now it is take i have not connected to any wallet so it says that your active v3 liquidity positions will appear here you can also see like there is v that is the version 2 liquidity pools you can also read more about how to provide liquidity but basically liquidity is when you are providing two different cryptocurrencies like eth and usdc so you provide a pair right as a liquidity provider and the liquidity providers will get some percentage of they will get some incentives based on the exchanges that happen on these dexes so that's the model that's the amm model right that the buyer or the seller will directly deal with the pool and the the commission that goes to the pool that is x percentage that will be added while swapping a part of it will go to the user who has provided the liquidity there's lot more that you can find about uniswap over here but in the next couple of lessons we are going to dive deeper into the architecture of uniswap as well as some of the contracts of uniswap that look at like the pool contracts and how liquidity is happening and all